you out probably like Voodoo Land. Oh my God. Um, but uh, Voodoo, actually, um, not just Voodoo, the evil, what they have programmed us to think Voodoo is, but it's referring to my dream. Um, and I've shared with you, you all before who've watched my videos years, a few years back about um, being connected to like different Nigeria and Yoruba practices, initiations within the dream realm. I am not initiated in this realm at all. I am nobody's priestess um, in that regard. I don't choose to be. I know of various spiritual practices and that's if that's your route that is fine i have learned of various practices i've known people who practice yoruba ifa um people who practice um comedic spirituality i've done this Taoism, buddhism christianity all these religion and, and and spiritual practices are fine if that's what you need as a stepping stone just like tarot crystals you know, uh, I Ching divinations, you know, all of these are, are needed as stepping stones so you get to a place where you are solely the diviner, you are the soul channeler, you don't need outside tools to get you to a point of receiving messages from source, but anyway, going into the dream, um, I am in this space of complete darkness um, and I'm on this street totally dark um, I see police officers that have police across their shirt and I see this black man um, and I, I also see this doll that's laying on the ground and I look at the doll the doll has the same clothes on as the man has on um, really plain I believe I remember like red shirt jeans something khaki color and what as well black man then and he was being controlled by the police they were actually using that doll um, voodoo doll um, to control his movements and so you know I continue to walk I had um, a guide as well and I was going to what felt felt like initially a college campus so I passed by the police officer is controlling this guy. We go to this campus, and uh, my guy begins to, t you know, tell me things and show me around and inform me of, you know, how they have to leave to go to a meeting. But I wouldn't be going to the meeting. I would be staying there. And then I started to have this like eerie feeling uh, about where I was. Like it didn't feel comfortable. It didn't feel safe. It felt like something could happen at any moment where I was. If you've ever been somewhere in somebody's house and it just didn't feel good. It felt uneasy at every point in time. And it was like, okay, you don't need to be here. And so um, I was like, okay, when my guy, when she told me that, and I felt uncomfortable. And she, she started to show me around and introduce me to people. Well, one man, she introduced me to... He was laying on the floor, big, heavy set black man laying on his back. I believe that his name was Bendy or Indy, Bendy, B E N D E or E N D E, something within that nature is what I'm recalling from the dream. And she introduced me to him. And then he had um, these other um, students. Um, I don't want to call them five, but more students. Um, that he was teaching and she told me that you know he was teacher he was a very wise man you know she shared with me who he was and so she said you can go to him for whatever you need so when she left and everybody ends up leaving this dorm area I felt uneasy I was like okay the first thing I need to do I need to go back to Bendy so I go back um to Bendy, where Bendy was. Remember, he was in another area laying on his back um, as this, <laughs> a lack of better words, he reminded me like a monk or a big Buddha or something. Um, black man, heavy set. And so when I get there, 
Bendy isn't laying on the floor. I don't know why that was. Bendy isn't laying on the floor anymore. Um, Bendy and some of his followers are in the shower. Like, they are cleansing themselves. Um, but these were all men. They, and, 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 the, and his students were boys. And they had on, um, they weren't naked. They had on, like, um, a, some type of, not sash, but it connected. It, it covered up their um, genital areas and it was like this cloth um, almost like similar to what sumo wrestlers wear that's what they had on and it was black and they were in the shower and I was just like okay they shower with that on and I, rem I remember him telling me and I didn't see him but I heard him saying they never take that off that is part of their you know vow as a student and so I woke up and it was interesting. The dream went on to shift me into another parallel reality. And um, that's another story. But I wanted to specifically focus on uh, what I feel like was voodoo land or voodoo land. <laughs> um, in which I was introduced to a guy. Remember I told you she um, ended up taking me to a dorm. Which possibly could have been just a school for me to learn and receive some type of information um and then from from her she had to leave because of course she did her job and then she handed me off to bendy or indy who was the um next guy on my journey um who was of a higher rank than she was so yeah, voodoo land. Um, I don't know what all of it means at this point of the connection of the voodoo doll and um, controlling the black man and Bendy or Indy. I'm definitely going to look at that name because I feel like that's significant. Um, but I wanted to share that with you as well as share as be your own divination tool. So of course, as always, I leave you in peace and high frequencies, everybody.